Right now, Scott Schiller, the executive vice president for the Adrian Arsh Center for the Performing Arts of Miami-Dade County, and he is also the producer of The Donkey Show, and he's joining me now. How are you, Scott? I'm doing well. Wanted to talk to you about The Donkey Show because everybody's talking about it, and it's just been extended through August 18th at the Ziff Ballet Opera House at the Arsh Center. And for folks that want to know what this show is about, because it's been described as like a Midsummer Night's uh, disco, I believe is the line. Yes. So tell me about it. Well, this is sort of our take on Studio 54, uh, if Studio 54 opened up in Miami in 2012. And what we've done is uh, we've really taken uh, this show and we've set it in a nightclub, a Studio 54-inspired nightclub, and the audience comes in and it's just total immersive uh, theater. The audience comes in, they grab a drink at the bar, and the action of the donkey show unfolds all around them, in front of them, above their heads, around the corner, and uh, the audience just gets swept away in a great night out. And how did this first come to be? Was this in New York prior to this? Yeah, the show was created by uh, Tony Award-winning director Diane Paulus and the, impar- and the impresario of New York nightclub, Randy Weiner. And they created this in 1999 in New York, and it ran for uh, almost eight years in New York. And then when Diane Paulus was named the artistic director of the American Repertory Theater in Cambridge, uh, Massachusetts, she brought the donkey show back again, and it's been running in Cambridge for almost six years now. Oh, that's excellent. I didn't realize that. Well, you know, people are going to have a lot of fun with the donkey show, and I think the name is a little sort of misleading, but it totally, totally is Studio 54, in a sense, brought back to life here in Miami. And I can even remember seeing some footage of Studio 54 with these columns that come out of the ceiling with the lights, the colored lights on them, and you even have that here. Yeah, we have a great creative team that are really the best designers from around the country, the directors, the lighting designers, costume designers, and the scenic designers are all at the top of their game creating theater all around the country. And we've paired that with a totally local cast. So we have a 20-member cast, which are Miami's best singers, dancers, aerialists, performance artists. And uh, this is really a blending of world-class and community-based on stage every night here at the Adrian Arsh Center. It really is world-class because some of these people, you know, would you describe some of the acrobatic, um, you know, things when they're hanging from the ceiling? It's sort of Cirque du Soleil-like, but what is what is that? Well, these are great aerial performers who are based here in Miami. And what we try to do is we try, what we, what we are attempting is this is the largest production of the donkey show that has ever been staged. So we wanted to make sure it was uh, an overload of all of the senses. So we have uh, actors moving around on stages that are rolling through uh, the audience on the dance floor. We have actors that are going up in these aerial rigs and doing this incredible acrobatics above the audience's head. And, uh, of course, we have a quadraphonic sound brought back from the (laughs) 70s with 2012 technology. And this is really about the audience coming and dancing to all of the great disco hits, um, but also getting a a story and following a story throughout the course of the the evening, which we say is is inspired by a little bit of Shakespearean magic. Yes, there is a story going on. It's an, you walk in, it's a magnificent, experience. You walk into this nightclub setting, there's lights and disco balls, go-go boys dancing on little, um, you know, uh, stands. On little mobile stages. Right, yeah. uh-huh. right. Everything moves around. And there's even uh, audience members that came dressed up in the sort of 1970s disco style, right? Yeah, the great thing is that our audiences have been come dressed to the nines. This is the type of experience where you can pull out your best disco wear, you can yeah. put on the sparkling, uh, you know, Afro wig or you could just come dressed up for a nice night uh, out at the nightclub. You can come in jeans. You could come with a date. Um, and you know, you mentioned some of the some of the great settings. So not only do we have all of these great performers and all of the energy that they bring to the nightclub, but you mentioned these uh, these light towers that are actually inspired 
on the original light towers. They're based on the original light towers in Studio 54. And the disco ball, there's a total of 12 disco balls uh, at Club Oberon, but the largest disco ball, um, I'm proud to say the Arsh Center is now the owner of the largest disco ball in North America. It's (laughs) six feet, six inches tall, and uh, it's a character unto itself. And you know that from seeing the show. I've seen it, and that alone, to see the the largest disco ball in North America alone is enough, but there's so many things going on that people are going to enjoy. The music, the dancing, the show, and also you've got KC from KC and the Sunshine Band at some of these performances. Well, you know, KC is the original boogeyman. Yeah. He, you know, he created disco right here on Miami Beach and has been such a such an important part of the disco movement in the 70s and also keeping the dis- the excitement of, of disco alive. And, you know, KC has always been a great supporter of the Arts Center. Uh, he's a donor at the center. He's a subscriber at the center. And we've always talked to him about, KC, we want to find a project to have you come and get you out of the seats and actually get you on the stage. And this just made perfect sense. And so the creators of the show have actually written a role into the show for KC. um, And KC performs uh, either Friday or Saturday uh, each week during the run. And so people will check their website for that as well, arshcenter.org. I notice you, I notice you also have some other theme nights. We have a Girls' Night Out and Funky Fridays, Boogie Nights with KC. Tell us about Girls' Night Out. Well, Girls' Night Out is really about uh, grabbing your book club, grabbing that group from the office, and just coming to have a blast with your friends, your family, and your coworkers. The Donkey Show is all about leaving your worries outside and coming in for a real escapist, experience and uh, there's nothing better than bonding with uh, with your girlfriends with great music you know that it's a safe place you know you don't have to wait in line you know the drinks are good and you know you're going to see a great show and it's a perfect it's a perfect experience to, to have with your friends and you know all of the people that thought back in the day when you know studio 54 they used to uh, reject a lot of people they wouldn't let them in this is not the case you're getting in with this donkey show yeah we like to say that this is the nightclub experience experience refined. You don't have to worry about a good DJ. You don't have to worry about parking. You don't have to worry about waiting in line. This is uh, everything that makes going out to a nightclub fun for those of us who don't go out to nightclubs anymore. And I also see you have a late night show at 1030 Boys Night Out on Saturdays as well for groups of five or more. They can get uh, discounted tickets. So check out the website for that as well. Uh, And Boys' Night also features uh, great special performances by incredible drag artists from South Beach. Nice. And and also, just about being yourself. The Donkey Show is all about being yourself, come as you are, and uh, and having that communal experience. So uh, it's always been really popular. Uh, The gay nights in in New York and in Boston and now in Miami have been some of the most popular performances we've had. Well, and you know, it's all about fun right now. Everything around us, you know, whatever's bringing you down down, the work, your job, the whatever. The Donkey Show is for everybody to come, let their hair down, dance, sing, enjoy, reminisce, and have a good time. And see the largest uh, disco ball in North America. That alone, I tell you, you got to see that. Well, this has been fantastic. I appreciate you taking the time. We've been speaking with Scott Schiller. He's the Executive Vice President for the Adrian R. Center for the Performing Arts of Miami-Dade County. He's also one of the producers that brought the Donkey Show to the R. Center. So, Scott, thanks again for taking the time to talk to us. Well, we look forward to seeing you on the dance floor.